Hi folks, today's video is a follow-up video to the previous video I've done on PixelFed, the social network for photo sharing. I'm not going to be repeating or redoing that entire video, so I'd urge you to actually watch the original video if you just want to get a better understanding of what PixelFed does, how it fits into the rest of the Fediverse, and its sort of basic operations. This is really intended more as an update video dealing with the newer user interface and it's finally got its native applications, the mobile applications as well. So I really want to focus more on that. I'll put a link below the video though to my original video. So in this video we're really just going to look at the new look. I'll show what the mobile app looks like and I want to answer some questions as well that come up very very frequently amongst new users of PixelFed or those that are looking to join PixelFed. And those questions will be things like, why PixelFed and not joining Mastodon or some other social network? Another question we hear quite often is, how do I find a server to join? Where do I sign up? Because this is now not a centralized service like say Twitter or Instagram. And then also we hear things like, why is my feed empty? I've signed up, I've joined, but now there's just nothing. I'm not seeing anything at the moment. How do I find content to follow? And the last question that I hear quite a bit is, how do others follow me if they're on a different server? Or if they say on Mastodon, because a lot of people have joined up Mastodon. The thing with the Fediverse, of course, is you don't have to be on one or the same server as another person to follow them. It is very much like email. So you can be on one server, another person on another server, and you can all follow each other, like, comment, that sort of thing. But the networks are slightly different. So I think let's just answer some of those questions really up front, and then we can dive in a bit deeper. So why PixelFed and not Mastodon or another network? Well, the big difference is that Although they are all interconnected and you can like and comment and so on, PixelFed is specifically photos orientated. It's got a lot of things around discoverability and search of photos, which Mastodon doesn't have. Mastodon is a general microblogging network, as is you know Twitter or anything else really. So you'll see also that photographers can show off certain things like a portfolio and collections of photos and that sort of thing, which you can't do on the others. So still part of the Fediverse, it's still decentralized and it's federated to all the other Fediverse social networks, but its focus is photos. If you were using Instagram for photo sharing, then PixelFed might be your more natural place to go to. If you're just going to want to do normal text blogging and that sort of thing, uh, and just attach a photo or two, then Mastodon or something else might be more suitable. Now, how do I find a server to join? So this is what I wanted to show here. This is also been, this site has also been updated. This is the main pixelfed.org site. You can see up the top there, there's the address. It is the sort of the intro to what PixelFed is about. So I would suggest you go through it a little bit. It covers things like what the various features are. I see, by the way, this is a matter of interest. Portfolios is not actually specifically listed here. So I'm suspecting portfolios might still be a test feature actually. I know it went live, hasn't worked 100% for me, but anyway, you'll see things like stories that is familiar to Instagram, albums, you see these are differences you're not gonna find on many of the other networks, obviously privacy. And this is the part I wanted to show you is about joining a community. So obviously you can self-host as I've mentioned before in my other video, but most people are going to not self-host, they're going to want to join somebody's server. So you can click here and browse community servers. And this site has actually been quite updated. It's a much nicer, more user-friendly site to use. You can filter here by country to find... Look, you can obviously join any server anywhere. The rules are going to be slightly different on different servers. But people for their local feeds often want to see relate, something related to their interests. So typically you might want to look for a country here. You might want to choose maybe your primary language as well. You can also filter over here between general, regional, and uncategorized. And here, if you choose this, obviously it's going to filter. If I take USA, these will be the USA bound servers. Or say Ireland. But otherwise you can browse down here. And there's a short sort of description about the server. You can click for more info. It tells you what language, what country it is. And you can just click right here. 
the idea being, you know, find something. This is obviously the main instance. Uh, you'll see the most posts as well on it. But if we look at one of these other instances, like say, let's see, fedifilm.art, you can go for more info and it's giving you a little bit more info about the server. You can click there to join or to create your account up top right. And there's a bit more detail. This might be specific or might not be specific to the server. You know, there, there is, and there's cause the server admin as well. So you can contact or have a look at server admin's account. So that is really how you find a server. Then the other question is, why is my feed empty? Well, let's have a look. Here's my feed. The home page typically is going to be the home feed over here. You'll see now there's also a new UI that's all sort of dark mode. You can, by clicking on the icon top right by your name, you can click on UI settings and you can switch there between. So you'll see it's on dark mode at the moment. I can click there on light mode and it changes to light mode. You can also change the profile layout. Oh, that's going to be profiles though, so you're not going to see a difference right now. Loading of comments, hiding of stats, but uh, yeah, I prefer the dark mode. So if your feed here is empty, you do need to go and find some people to follow. And the way you're going to do that is you will click here on discover and you can obviously go and search for things like on hashtags and that sort of thing but often the way to start is go to daily trending and you can choose by today this month or this year and you can get a feel sort of for some of the the photos what you do is here just go and look at some photos that interest you just say for example this one and you will actually see there's a quick sort of synopsis of the or a preview of the profile and you can just click there to follow. And then this person's photos are going to show up in your home feed. That's really how you add. Or if you find also people that comment on your posts here, for example, you could also go to their profile and follow them back if you wish. But that's really how you sort of build up your, your home feed. And your local feed will always be available. That's going to be everybody on the server. So depending on which server you've joined, uh, this will differ you know, from what, from what you're going to see. And the global feed is, of course, everything. So that is irrespective of which server you've, you've really joined. So that, in essence, really is the getting your home feed populated. Remember, it's chronological. So it's not going to be bubbling things up to the top. Whatever you're following, you're going to see specifically in your home feed anyway. Then the other question, or the last question really, was about how do other people follow me? How do I advertise where I am? So remember, you are now on a pixel-fed server with a pixel-fed account. Somebody else maybe is on, say, Mastodon. You'll see by default, you've got a username, and it'll be at whatever your username is that you chose when you registered. And the other part is going to be the back part of, or should I say the back, the rest of the address is going to be at in my case, it would be pixelfed.social. That'll be the full address. Let's just see if we go to the profile. No, it doesn't actually show the full address. But that will be the address. So in my case, it would be at Donny10 at pixelfed.social. That would be the full address. If you give that out or advertise that to anybody else on you know, across the Fediverse, they could type it into the search box, whether it's on Mastodon or Friendica or Hubzilla or whatever the case is. If they type that into their search box, they should then find your profile. They can follow you from where they are without having to join a PixelFed account, and they can like and reply to, to your photos. Now, likewise, you could even from PixelFed, you don't need to open a Mastodon account or Friendica account or other Fediverse account if you don't want to. By example here, I can show you my Mastodon account. We're in PixelFed now. If I type my Mastodon account in, the fully qualified address, it's also at Dani10, but it'll be at Mastodon.social. And you'll see over there, now it is showing my Mastodon profile. If I clicked on it, those are actually my Mastodon posts that have got photos in, and you could 
just follow as well from inside pixel fed it would follow your photo posts by default there is another place somewhere i think under settings that you need to just activate and show text posts but otherwise you won't see maybe the normal text post remember this is a photo site the other thing i just want to mention though is about being followed and found okay i'm back on the pixel fed profile again you'll see in my profiles bio here i've put quite a lot of hashtags as well the reason for that is because when people are searching across the fediverse for things like hashtag technology there's a good chance then or gadgets or whatever the case is they're gonna there's a good chance they'll pick up your pixel fed profile to be followed as well and it's the same thing for when you make a post you should actually add a few hashtags as well it also makes your posts more visible you know right across the fediverse and not just on your instant or just to your followers so I'll show you what I mean here. If I go to say create a new post, I'll say I'm going to share a new post. I'm just going to choose one of the recent test photos I just did with my phone. Uh, it was this one. So let's post that. So I'm going to give it a caption. Birds on a wire. Test photo using 10 by optical zoom on my Galaxy S23 Ultra phone. Okay, so there we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a few hashtags like birds, Galaxy oops, S23 Ultra. So there, somebody's already used that, I see. That's interesting. Photos are starting to appear from the Galaxy S23. Maybe wire, wires. And, oh, it was taken in South Africa. So let me just also add a hashtag for that as well. So all these things, again, if people are searching for any of these hashtags, you know, the idea is my photos would hopefully appear. And I'm just going to say here, three birds sitting on overhead electrical wires alternative text save it it's not sensitive media there's no people to tag i'm not going to add it to a collection i've got a default license set so i can just say here location is cape town cape town okay there it is and it is public and that should do it for the post and there it is so that photo will be live if i go back to home feed in fact if i go to local feed it should now have appeared at the top of the local feed as well so as i said again you know the whole discovery the photo discovery aspect is sort of quite unique to pixel fed and any of the other browsing that you do on the local or the global is photo specific type posts that you're seeing versus other networks are going to be generic general posts you're not going to be you know sort of seeing specifically the photos and you can also have a look if you look at some of these uh, photographers like this one has got 74 likes these obviously multiple photos in the post you'll see he's put a lot of hashtags in also comments so something that's also new in comments now you can filter on comments here but there is also threaded replies I don't see that there are any in here at the moment but you could actually do threaded replies in response to other people's posts so this is all being cleaned up and extended and so on further you can also see now you can like or fave on comments themselves you can obviously reshare the photo as well from your account or bookmark it so you know this is some of the the new functionality that's come up you can also filter on your notifications but i don't want to do a rehash a complete rehash of my first video so let's just sort of i think leave it at that i'll just briefly show you what a portfolio looks like so dan's up obviously the developer his portfolio seems to be working so the portfolio gives you the opportunity as a photographer to feature 
five or I think up to 10 maybe photos. They're just single photos. They're not multi, multiple photos you can add. But in essence, this is really what it looks like. So he has featured you know, these five photos as part of his portfolio. So again, that's also unique to PixelFed. You won't find that on the, on the other Fediverse servers. And I think let's just have a quick look at the mobile app just to show you the is now a native mobile app. If we look here at my phone, let's just quickly start up PixelFed. So this is a native Android app, but there's a native iOS app as well. So that means you'll be able to obviously upload directly from your phone. You'll see there are features, things like you know, like underneath, reshare, comment. Uh, next to it is the comments field. There aren't any comments yet, but you'll see on some of these other ones here. Oh, also no comments. Oh dear. Has nobody got comments? This one should have some comments. Hmm, also no comments. Okay, well, when I'm looking for comments, I can't find them. But that's the mobile app there. You've got settings as well. You've got the discover option. You can discover by people as well. Or hashtags. So you could go say for landscape. And there are some really stunning photos. <laughs> So no comments. Gosh, I don't know what's going on there. You can go to notifications as well. And of course your profile. And you can also change views. It's a sort of a list view. You can look at likes if those are shared. So yeah, the mobile app is actually pretty responsive and and very nicely done, I think, actually. And you can do advanced search as well. So this is where you'd search for things like hashtags or at accounts for names. You'll see there's a fully qualified name as well there. So it shows you the the options you can choose really for the searching. And yeah, that's actually really it that I wanted to show. It was really around some of the new look and feel on how much PixelFed has actually improved over the last year or two. And I think the nice positive thing is that there's lots of development. Every week or two or three or so, there's an announcement about you know some or other new features. So it's certainly developing quite fast, and it's stuck to its principles, you know, of being fully federated, open source, chronological feeds no adverts being shoved into the into the feeds and that sort of thing and i think that's what's been drawing a lot of people so certainly i think if you were a big instagram user you'd probably want to give pixel fed a first consideration and of course well there's nothing wrong with having accounts on the other networks as well you know the followers and the, the type of posting does differ to to a larger extent as well but yeah i hope you found that sort of interesting thanks very much for watching it was just a short highlight so this video wasn't very long, I hope. And keep safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.